Yo, what is going on? Everyone in crypto space. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about a topic. Uh, it's a little speculation. What I really love doing here on this channel is taking uh, a scenario, a, a piece of news, uh, a, a detailed piece of info, and trying to read between the lines. I really enjoy doing that on here, and I think this right here, what I'm about to tell you, I think I may be right, I may be wrong, but I'm just going to give you my output as as to what I think is happening right now. So earlier today when I started the stream, whole market, sea of red, down 6%. Now all of a sudden, we're up about 8 to 15% across the board. Now get this. So volume's kicked up in the market, so obviously there's been some more volume rolling in. But I want to show you something very odd that's going on. And my theory is, basically, before I start talking about this, my theory is that the whales are trying to reverse the market sense. But the Bitcoin has dropped, has not dropped this much since I think 2013, 2014 from all time high in terms of percentage loss, we've dropped about 70, a little over 70% from all time high. And I think what's happening is the big players in the games or the big players in the game, also known as the whales. I think they're now going, okay, guys, we have dropped this down so much. If we drop it down too much, there's going to be a point to where we are going to flush out a lot of the crypto community because they're going to get so discouraged. So maybe we need to start pushing it back up. And here's what I think is happening. So as you notice right here on the chart, it's manipulated down, uh, tries buying back up, manipulated or not, maybe just some regular trading action. But initially during something like this or like this, something has to spark it like that. So usually a whale uh, liquidating a large holding and hunting stop losses. So what happens now, this is when first this scenario right here, uh, everything you're seeing right here on the screen, this is all like the low you're seeing pretty much the lowest point in 2018. And here's what happens. It drops below 6,000 and there's some natural buying up, which is, is normal. And then all of a sudden you get boom, a rapid spike right back up over 6,000 consolidates a little bit, natural buying movement, an actual natural downturn. This is how you know it's natural when it's something like this and not just like that. That is uh, either a panic sell off of some news or a panic sell because just somebody with a big holding selling. So it's a natural sell off comes down here, it's shot back down, and it drops below 6,000 again. Now, what happens here? It's just natural, natural trading. Boom, spikes right back up. And it seems every time, the, both of the times this year it has crossed below 6,000, it comes up immediately. I mean, look at this, just straight up, not like an actual, a, a healthy market move, just a solid uptrend. I mean, dude, straight up, a lot of money just came in all of a sudden. And I think what's going on here, and let me know your guys' opinion in the comments below. I think the whales are trying to reverse market sentiment by keeping it above 6,000. Going below 6,000, getting into the fives, that's going to start really discouraging people. And if the whales keep driving this lower and lower, what's going to happen is they're going to cause a lot of people to leave the crypto community, thus harder to reverse the market sentiment. It's going to take more time. So these whales are going, dude, we've already dropped the price 70%. We have very good entry points. Why not keep it above 6,000 to get people more confident in the currency and redo the entire cycle again uh, to a new all-time high? I think that's what's happening here. It's the most realistic thing. I mean, it has to be what's going on. Every time it's dipping below 6,000, you get a rapid spike up. Same thing over here again. It's natural trading, natural trade, natural trading. Below 6,000, rampant spike up. And it's done this twice now. I'm really curious to see if this happens a third time. If it happens a third time, that's really my personal confirmation of whales just trying to keep it above 6,000. Because if they let it keep going lower, if Bitcoin hits into the fours, we are seriously going to lose a lot of people in the crypto community. I'm not talking XRP specific, I'm talking just the crypto community in general. So I think what the whales might be doing is they're trying to reverse market sentiment and they're trying to do that by not letting it slip and stay in the fives. They're trying to keep it above 6,000. And look at this. I mean, in the course of a couple hours, it's went from 5,900 all the way up to almost $6,600. All right. Yeah, about uh, $6,550. So they're really trying, somebody's trying to keep it above 6000 And I think it's the whales. And I think it's for a good reason. is because they want the market sentiment to be reversed. We've been in a absolute bear market for six months straight now. Now it's time for the whales and everyone in the crypto space to start making gains, get the hype train back up, get mainstream media reporting on it again. And we go through the whole process of going to the all-time high and then crashing yet again. I think that's what's happening, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. That's, I mean, that's the most realistic explanation. It's, it looks exactly like someone is trying to keep it above 6,000 because we keep going down to five and to four. 
man, the market sentiment is just going to get worse than it already is. So I think they're trying to keep it back up, trying to simulate Bitcoin having strength so the market can go right back up again. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Check the links in the description if you want to support the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.